This is a video to show you how to find profit and loss in a monopolistically competitive firm. So check this out. What we want to do is first find the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So where those two curves intersect is at this point right here. The firm will produce that quantity because that is the place where it can make either the most profits or the least losses. In any case, it's the best production at this point right here, that quantity. Now, they have to figure out what price to charge. So at that quantity, let's go up to the demand curve because the demand curve shows the relationship between the quantity demanded and the price. So at that quantity, consumers are willing to pay this price P. Now, in order to find out if we are making profits or losses, we must also know how much it's costing us to produce a unit. So we can sell each unit for P, and on average, this is going to be the average total cost right over here. So we know what our quantity is, and we go up to the average total cost curve and come over here and find what our average total cost is. Now you can see that we make more money by selling a unit, we charge this price P, than it costs us to produce. So this difference here between P and ATC, that height is how much money we make on each unit. This length right here is how many units we sell. So the area of this rectangle right here is equal to our profits. Now let's go through the same exercise in a slightly different scenario. So the first step, we always want to find the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So that would be this quantity. At that quantity, let's find out how much are consumers willing to pay. So we go to the demand curve, and at that quantity, the price associated with that quantity is this P. And now, if we want to find out if we are making profits or losses, at this quantity, we can go up to the average total cost curve to find the average total cost of producing a unit. So here's our average total cost. So you might remember that profit equals total revenue minus total cost, right? Well, total revenue equals price times quantity, and total cost equals average total cost times quantity. All right, so now you can see that the area of this rectangle will be our revenue, right? This is price times quantity, right? So that's this whole rectangle. And then let's look at our total cost. That would be this rectangle that I'm shading in red. All right, so all this stuff. So now you can see that the red rectangle encompasses all of our revenues and then some. So we have these extra costs that don't have any revenue coming in. We're making a loss. That's another way to look at it. So the area of the loss I'm going to make in blue right here. So this rectangle right here would be the area of our loss. So we've seen profits and losses. But in long run equilibrium, we're going to end up in a situation with zero economic profit. So once again, we will produce right here where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We'll make this quantity. Go up to the demand curve at that quantity to find out how much consumers are willing to pay. And we charge them that willingness to pay. However, now we see that at this quantity, this is also the average total cost. All right, so price equals average total cost. Our economic profits are zero. Thanks for watching.